Hi guys, good morning. Yeah, it's Bob from Grey Bear Models, and I'd like to do a quick update on the Catalina build. Um, done a bit of painting. Oh, excuse me, a bit of indigestion this morning. <coughs> right, so I've got the camera loose off the stand, so it's going to be a little bit woo. Um, first thing I wanted to show you was the the Catalina. Um, the glazing. Um, in my last video I uh, considered um, masking the inside of these observation windows um, and then painting the insides green, uh, the internal green. But it struck me that that was a bit unnecessary. Um, so I think the easiest thing is what I've done here. I've actually painted they mask up on the outside obviously so I've painted them with the internal green um, done the same with the cockpit and a little bit there with the, the gun emplacement on the front um, so what I'll do is once this is all dried because I've just literally just done this um, then I'll give the whole thing a coat of primer um, what it should do um, is it should mean that once, once all the masking's off you should be able to look through the observation windows through through the inter, inside of the fuselage and you'll see the green through the through the clear plastic on the other side or on the other part of the of, of the glazing so in theory that should work I hope it does uh, it's the first time I've ever tried doing it so you know these things are you know they're there to try aren't they so that's that I've got a length of sprue in the underside there um, that's the mounting point for when it's when the plane's complete it's going on a stand um, with uh, <coughs> being supported by a piece of um, acrylic rod I think um, just to, to mount that on display um, and then coming over here to the spray booth um, I've actually got the the wing sat there that's been done in primer and uh, that's all all sitting there nicely hopefully that'll that'll clean up clean up that should set off over overnight I'll leave it for leave the primer uh, uh, you know sort of 12 hours at least just to give it a chance to cure properly um, and then I'll come in and start looking at uh, painting the cat at the camouflage scheme and the underside sky um, just to match the colour scheme um, so that's that so the next bit is uh, got a coat of uh, sky which is the term for this this very very pale green colour uh, that's gone on over um, gave it a coat of uh, dull aluminum or aluminium as we call it and also um, a coat of the chipping medium so once all this is dried and sorted out uh, same, same with the underside of the fuselage here um, got uh, um, a coat of uh, aluminium and some chipping solution um, and then a coat coat of the, the top coat and uh, hopefully have some really neat chipping effects on that so that's good got to leave that all to dry um, get that time to set off and then the next stage will be to mask up all of that area under on the underside mask it all off and uh, start looking at putting on the camo scheme on the top of the fuselage and the top of the wings so good bit of progress on the cat I'll come back to you in a bit so now I've put on the uh, first top coat um, or the first coat on the top side of the fuselage, masked off the bottom and 
uh, given that a coat of the I think it's a, a slate grey or so that's the colour that they they sort of call it but it's it's more like a green and then I've done the same uh, with the wing so that's now got a coat of that on it um, I've tried not to do it too evenly it doesn't it doesn't look right when it's even so I've given it a coat of that and then uh, the next stage now is to mask off the camouflage pattern underside don't doesn't need fully masking just the edges um, so I'll just do the camouflage pattern oh that, that uh, might need another piece of uh, masking tape just to hold that in place but it's just really just to protect the engines so that I don't get dump a load of paint in there um, if I do get any bleed through then I, I can just touch it up anyway but uh, that's as far as we've got with uh, with the paint so far so the next stage as I say is to mask off the camouflage pattern so I'll come back to you once I've done that So now we've got uh, a worm attack, um, everything's now masked off so that I can put the second colour of the camo screen, scheme, scream, the camo scheme on it, um, everything all masked up, fairly close to the, the actual um, pattern that's on, on the drawings. Um, so now it's time to put on some paint. So we've got some paint on there now and uh, just now a matter of uh, letting it dry, I'll leave it overnight and uh, see where we get to. So, uh, <coughs> oh, clear my throat, excuse me. Um, that's the camo scheme um, on the Catalina done. Um, what I'm going to need to do is, uh, is uh, get some weathering on it and uh, start putting the decals on it's uh, some of the chipping effect I've got there that actually was a happy accident as I peeled some of the the masking tape off it lifted the paint which is really quite quite a neat neat achievement and uh, so yeah the chipping effect is uh, gonna be done um, had a look at a lot of pictures of this plane and uh, you know, flying out into the Atlantic in all sorts of weathers um, it uh, yeah they do take a hammering so that's where we are so far I um, hope uh, if everyone's found this interesting and uh, we'll get back to um, another episode very shortly cheers for watching thanks a lot bye